when we construct a structure we need to use the good quality of materials in order to maintain the good quality of structure but sometimes we may experience some of the structural defects in reinforced concrete structure these defects has to be properly repaired in order to maintain the quality of the structure during its lifetime the structure has to service its purpose during its intended lifetime without any problem honeycomb is one of the major structural defect which happens in reinforced concrete structures hey friends welcome back to civil engineering mastery in this video we are going to discuss in detail about what is honeycomb how honeycomb is created in reinforced concrete structures what are all the types of honeycombs what are all the causes of honeycombs and what are all the effects of honeycomb and then finally how to repair this honeycomb in concrete using proper repair materials so without further delay let's begin now first let's start with what is honeycomb in concrete honeycomb in concrete is created by cavities and voids present on the surface of the concrete as you seen in the picture the cavities and voids are present on the surface of the concrete is called honeycomb why we call it as honeycomb because the cavities and voids present on the concrete looks like bee nest so that is why the name comes as honeycomb honeycomb on the concrete surface can be detected once the form work is removed whereas the honeycombs which are present inside the concrete has to be detected by using some advanced techniques such as ultrasonic test honeycomb in concrete will create a serious issue because this is affecting the strength and stability of the structure because once the honeycomb is formed it not only reduces the strength of the concrete it also reduces the bond between concrete and the reinforcement bar and then the reinforcement bar will expose to the environmental surface and moisture so that will create corrosion so once the corrosion occurs on the structure a structural element that leads to the collapse of the structure so this honeycomb has to be treated properly when it is in the initial stage itself so this is very very important to repair this honeycomb defect in concrete structures next let's look into the causes of honeycomb in concrete first one is improper vibration in concrete vibration is very very important this will reduce the air voids present in the concrete next one is less cover to the reinforcement as per is codes and standards we are having standard cover to the reinforcement for each and every structural element so we need to follow that without fail if we do not provide the proper cover to the reinforcement that also will lead to the honeycomb in concrete next one is poor workability of concrete and then improper grading of aggregates next one is formwork is not rigid and watertight so what happens when the formwork is not rigid and watertight it increases the chances of leakage of concrete and then that leads to the formation of honeycomb in concrete and then over reinforcement over reinforcement also leads to the formation of honeycomb in concrete use of large size aggregates excess use of water so the water has to be used as per the water cement ratio if we use excess water that also leads to the formation of honeycomb in concrete and then last one is less use of water if the water is less then also it leads to the formation of honeycomb and if the water is more then also it leads to the formation of honeycomb so the water has to be provided according to the water cement ratio next let's look into the types of honeycombs small size honeycomb medium size honeycomb and large size honeycomb the small size honeycomb looks like this this will not cause a major problem but it's need to be repaired immediately whereas the medium size honeycombs will create a problem it tends to expose the reinforcement to the environmental condition and the when the reinforcement is exposed to the moisture which is present in the environment then it leads to corrosion and third one is large size honeycomb so this image itself is showing the reinforcement which is visible so this leads to the severe damage to the structure so this honeycombs in concrete needs to be repaired properly with the use of repair materials next let's look into the effects of honeycomb in concrete one is reduction in strength of the structure and then corrosion and rusting of reinforcement bar and third one is decrease the lifetime of the structure and then 
Fourth one is makes a bad aesthetic of the structure. So these are all the major effects of honeycomb in concrete. Next, let's look into the repair of honeycomb in concrete. We know how the honeycomb is created in concrete and what are all the causes and what are all the effects. Now we need to repair it properly. So how we can repair it? Honeycomb has to be repaired by using the proper repair material and it can be rectified. Let's look into the repair materials which is used to rectify this honeycomb in concrete. First one is Renderock RG. Second one is Sika Monotop 122F. These two materials are available in the market. Let's look into this technical specification of these materials. First, let's look into the technical specification of the material Renderock RG. It is produced by the company Fosrock. Let's look into the uses. Renderock RG is used for repairs to damage reinforced concrete element, particularly where access is restricted and where vibration of the placed material is difficult or impossible. If you look into the advantages, gaseous expansion system compensates for shrinkage and settlement in the plastic state. It can be pumped or poured into the restricted locations, highly fluid to allow for placement without vibration, pre-packed to overcome side batched variations, rapid strength gain to facilitate early range treatment, high ultimate strength and low permeability of cured repair, Contains no chloride admixture, ensures pile top integrity as part of a waterproofing system. Its description is given here and then design criteria is given here. Renrock RG can be applied in sections up to 100 mm deep. For larger section, more than this, the addition of approved aggregate may be required. So, this will depend on the specific configuration of the repair location. For further clarification, Fosrock office shall be contacted and the properties of the material is given over here. See Young's modulus is 25 kN per millimeter squared. Bed density is 2100 to 2200 kg per meter cube and its specification is given over here. Application instruction is given here. If you look into the packaging, Renrock RG is supplied in 25 kg moisture resistant bags. Approximately 13 liters per 25 kg bags, which we need to use 13 liters of water for 25 kg bag. Actual yield per bag will depend on the consistency of Renrock RG and quantity of coarse aggregate added. Health and safety instruction is also given. So all the details are given in this technical information and for further clarification, we need to contact the force rock suppliers. The next material is Sika Monotop 122F. So this material is produced by Sika company. Let's look into the technical specification. In the description it is given as Sika Monotop 122F travelable motor is a dual shrinkage compensated thixotropic high strength formulation for structural concrete repairs. Sika Monotop 122F is suitable for placing in thickness of 5 to 50 mm vertically and 5 to 5 15 mm overhead. The usages are Repair of spalling and damaged concrete in buildings, bridges, infrastructure and superstructure works. There are advantages as well. Easy to use, only to be mixed with water. Structural cosmetic repairs, possible to apply on vertical subtract in 50 mm layers. Good aggression strength, ideal where repair are more than 5 mm. Sprayable, able to repair complex profile easily with minimum rebound. So the product information is given over here. It is a 30 kg bag grey powder. Shelf life is 6 months from the date of production if stored as per the recommendation. So we need to store according to this condition. Storage condition is given over here. And then bulk density. Technical information is given here. Compressive strength, tensile strength, tensile aggression strength. Application information, mixing ratio, water is to powder. So 0.15 to 0.16 by weight that is 4.5 to 4.8 liter of water needs to be mixed per bag of this powder. Consumption ambient air temperature, substrate temperature, what life application is given here. So if you look into this application, pre-treatment, mixing and application. So all the information are given in this data sheet. So according to this, we need to use this material for repairing of honeycomb in concrete. So friends, I hope you all like this video. Please do comment in the comment box. Your comments are always welcome. If you like the content, hit the like button. Also share it with your friends. Super thanks button has been enabled in our channel. 
just log in into your account and below this video there will be a super thanks button just click on that and pay some minimum amount to support this channel if you really like the content and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos thank you for watching